This is Eric Mwadi from Mwadi.com. Let's take a look at the breakout strategy based on how we can let the market tell us what instruments seem to be looking to attack higher prices. Now I'm going to show you some random stocks to illustrate this point. All right, let's take a look at one here. It's just a random stock here, CLS. Now you'll notice this is all data from the late 90s and just visually this is the period where the stock was successful right there and this is an all data monthly and one of the characteristics we see here is there were multiple breakouts as the stock had a substantial move in the late 90s so all these were good entries on hindsight now compare this with the current sideways market. So we can say over the last 18 years or so, this instrument has been pretty much stuck in this range. So one way to avoid this 18 year sideways market here. So who wants to hold on for 18 years where there's no action? The best thing to do is to play the breakout game. Let's take a look at another example. So we got BWEN and we can see here from 2005 to about 2008 there were periods of good breakouts on a monthly time frame these were good entries and of course I'm only highlighting those breakouts that worked so as to illustrate the point obviously not all breakouts work in a typical market but Take a look at these entries and this is the only phase we can say for sure that the stock had a substantial move in its trading history. If not decades, the best thing to do is seek out instruments that are breaking out and are showing momentum. In other words, the market votes and the market decides that that the market itself is expecting higher prices and this tends to happen only where there's powerful breakouts. Now, of course, this breakout should meet the minimum requirements. Now, let's take a look at recent examples here and we have Twitter. Now, we can see that it IPO'd in 2013, so TWTR, and this is where it IPO'd 2000, late 2013. We can say net-net has been down since and we can see generally speaking over the last six years or so this instrument has really not have a subst substantial push now compare this with facebook in the same time period and you can see that this is different looking we have an instrument that moves from about 50 to the current highs of 300 in the same time frame so compare facebook to twitter and one of the characteristics with Facebook is we can see many successful breakouts. So this, this in itself is a sign of an instrument that is being favored by the market, is being favored by institutions. And playing these breakouts, all of these breakouts, would have been a sign that this instrument is. Now remember there are periods where breakouts are going to fail. As we can see here, it spent some time in this sideways action before finally breaking out here in 2020. So the breakout game, in a sense, is one way to take advantage of instruments that might be moving higher in the coming months, in the coming years, because the market itself is telling us with each successful breakout that there seems to be a likelihood of substantial higher prices. So instead of owning instruments that are going to be sideways to down for years and years as we saw here the best thing is to always seek out this period in any stocks trading history eric moad with mother.com and so it is love light light love namaste